like that. Oops. Hide all of that. Okay. And uh, go ahead and hide these menu items also. So we should just be left with uh, this bar now. So I'm going to create another layer and I'm going to merge it with this layer so that it's flattened the uh, blending option. I'm going to drag it to the very top then I'm going to just delete everything that's not actually part of that bar. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and just crop out the bar. So crop just like that. Uh, use snapping to help align everything. Okay. Hit enter. And um, the shadow that we're applying earlier is actually getting applied to all sides of this bar. So even the bottom part has it, and that's not exactly what we want. So I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to zoom in. I'm just going to crop out. I'm going to just crop out um, the bottom shadow as well. Whoops. Damn it. Hang on. Okay. Zoom in, and then scale it. There you go. Okay, and then I'm just going to save this out. And we're just going to call it um, menu background. Okay, so back in our HTML file, on top of content, let's just create a new div and call it menu. And then in style.css, I'm going to um, create a new section, use the menu selection um, string, and then give the background image that we need, which is going to be menu instead of content. And uh, we'll do position relative for later when you guys, you know, actually position things inside of this div. And uh, we'll give it a width, and the width should be 10, 14 pixels, which it is. So I'll go back in here, give it a width of 10, 14 pixels, and give it a height of, I believe it was 50. Let's see, yeah. Okay, and uh, let's refresh the page and see what happens. Okay, so that looks about right. We just got to set the margins on it also, so that it's positioned in the middle. Okay, refresh the page, and then let's give ourselves uh, just a little bit of spacing on the top of this menu. So in here, I'm going to give it uh, actually a, a margin on top. And we'll give it 150 pixels for now. I'm not sure if that's too much or not, but we'll see. And if it is, we can always change it. So I'm using uh, this format for margin. And this format basically lets me set each, sorry, lets me set the margin on each side of the box independently. So I want 150 pixels on the top, uh, auto on the right, zero on the bottom, and auto on the left. So I refresh the page. Um, it's going to give me the space that I need on the top. And 150 looks a little bit too much so let's go ahead and just make it 100 pixels and refresh it and uh, let's go back and look at our mock-up and see if there's anything else that we have to do okay um, let's go ahead and just make you know the white box that we have a little bit shorter this is a, little, is a little bit tall right now. So I'll go back in here, and we'll set the width of it to maybe 100 and uh, maybe just 100 pixels. Let's see what happens. Whoops. That was the wrong uh, item. Sorry. We want to do it here to 100 pixels. Okay, so that looks a little bit closer. Um, you know, I'll let you guys fine tune it, it's not super important. Um, but that's going to be actually where I stop doing this tutorial. So, you know, after this step, you'll basically have the skeleton for what you're going to need to um, do the rest of this project. And from here, what you're going to do is just um, go into the different divs that we've created, you know, and just type in your menu. So for the menu, you're going to do something with links, um, with a list of links. So you want to do something like UL and then LI and have each of your 
uh, links in here. So A, you know, your anchor tags, href equals uh, whatever page you want. Set a title, um, you know, my page, close the tag, and then whatever text you want to appear, you can just do it in here. So my page. And then you're just going to have a couple of these. So, you know, just go down here. Um, in content, you're going to want to uh, basically create what you see here. So maybe add an image. Um, and then split up these boxes and create these boxes here also and then just you know use a couple paragraphs and things and it should be pretty straightforward if you guys have questions questions uh, feel free to email us and actually I don't know you know how far everyone is on this project um, if, if a lot of people aren't you know decently far with it on Monday it's possible that we might give you guys a couple uh, a couple of days extension for the deadline uh, but also keep in mind that you guys actually have five days, five slip days to use on any of your projects, however you'd like. So, you know, you could feel free to use those um, now if you want or later, you know, save them, manage them however you want. Um, but that's it. So I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial and that, you know, my voice wasn't too hard to listen to for the last, uh, last half hour. And uh, have a good night.